All right, the Axiom Mission 4 launch to the International Space Station has once again been scrubbed. NASA and its partners are now reviewing the launch date after a leak was detected in the SpaceX Falcon rocket being used for the mission. These are live pics from the Kennedy Space Center for you. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins me now to talk about this. It's a really interesting mission, Bill. Good morning to you. Um, Good morning. What, what's the risk of what they found, this, this liquid oxygen leak, and, and when might it take off? Well, you know, you certainly don't want any kind of leaking propellants. I mean, that's what the first stage is powered by. It's, it's powered by liquid oxygen and kerosene rocket fuel. Uh, they did a test firing of the rocket's main engines earlier this week, and when they were analyzing that data, they saw evidence of a leak uh, in some of the liquid oxygen plumbing uh, on the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage. Uh, so they're debating what to do about that, how to fix it, whether they can do it at the launch pad. They originally had reserved Thursday uh, for a possible another attempt, uh, but now it's looking more like it might go to Friday. We just don't know yet. They haven't uh, supplied us with a date, and we don't have very many details about what it's going to take to fix it. Tell us about the goal of the mission and the crew as well. I understand there's a, a NASA vet among them. You know, vet's hardly the word for Peggy Whitson. She's uh, America's most experienced astronaut. She's got 675 days in space across her previous missions. Uh, she's number seven in the world, number one in America, and she's the number one female spacewalker in the world. She's done 10 spacewalks. She's commanded the space station. Uh, she served as chief of the astronaut office, so it's, it's really hard to kind of even put together the bio on Peggy Whitson. It's, it's really quite remarkable. Um, she's leading an international crew. Her three crewmates are from uh, Poland, Hungary. Um, Poland, Hungary? I'm losing my mind here. I can't remember. That's all right. Um, anyway, three international crew members that have, that have paid Axiom Space, that's a Houston-based company, uh, to ride this spacecraft up to the International Space Station. They're going to spend about 14 days aboard the lab uh, carrying out a very complex series of experiments, public engagement, you know, uh, live interactive uh, programming from orbit. So it's, it's quite exciting to all of them uh, to be able to get back to space. Awesome stuff, and we hope they get off the ground safely at some point. I'm sure we'll reconnect with you when that happens. Bill Harwood, great to see you. Lose your mind anytime. Poland, Poland, Poland. There we go. I knew you'd figure it <laughs> That's out. That's the other country. Thank you, Bill. Sorry about that. No, no, all good. We'll see you next time.